Can deaf children get admission in a regular government or private school? An education policy was created back in 2003 that mandates compulsory and free education to all children between 6 and 14 years old, irrespective of their gender, economic status, and abilities. Even a single child should not be excluded from getting admitted in school. Education is free in government-recognized schools for children aged between 6 and 14 years old. This policy was part of the huge Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan program run all over India. But, it still wasn't a law yet. It was made enforceable with the creation of the Right to Education Act in 2009, which also additionally includes clauses pertaining to children with disabilities. The RTE Act of 2009 states that, 25% seats in government-recognized schools must be reserved for children with disabilities, SC, ST, and from low-income groups. Since the RTE Act of 2009, the focus has been mainly on poor children, and not on disabled children. However, by 2012, some amendments have been made, to include children with disabilities in the education policy. As per the amendment in the Act in 2012, 25% of all seats must be reserved for disabled, poor, or other categories of children, irrespective of whether the school is government or private. Children with deafness, blindness or both, including those having multiple disabilities, can opt for home-based education. Those children with severe disabilities and in hardship, can opt for home-based education. In SMCs, short for school management committees, representatives from parents of these disabled children must be included, as per the amendment. According to the Act, Deaf children can get admission into either government or private schools. Schools must ensure equal participation of deaf children. In case any private or government school refuses admission to a deaf child, a complaint can be filed with valid proof. If the complaint is found valid and confirmed, the license of the school can be cancelled. In the next edition, we shall see what the law states about the COVID-19 pandemic that people are suffering from.